Welcome to I Love Stocks. I want to go over my challenge account that I'm doing right now and the three swings that I took on Friday. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button if you like this video. But first we'll go into the account. I, last week, it was a good week for me. I was swinging 90% of my trades overnight and selling at open. It had a beginning balance of $4,157.65 and the ending, ending balance by Friday was $6,497.76 with a weekly gain of $2,340.11 and kind of been adapting to the market whatever's best but um, every day was green. I had a few days a couple weeks back that were kind of red so I had to kind of regroup but they were swings and then they opened up and they turned out to be pretty nice but not real nice but I mean I was able to come out with some dollars so pretty good I'm in BABA I'm in AMD and I'm in plug and we're gonna look at the contracts in, in row and we're gonna look at AMD first AMD, I get in the May 21st. I'm going to hold this until May. I think this can definitely get back up here to the higher highs. And my price right now, I'm at 310. I got two contracts and I bought them at two different prices. At one at 292 and then another one here at 295. So my average is about 293. And after hours at close, it went to 310. So I think the momentum's still in this trade. And I also traded it when it had the big bounce and took a thousand off that into my personal account. So let's go ahead and look at the chart. Let me see which chart I want to use. We'll use this one right here. This is my SMA chart, and we'll look at AMD and try to find a support level. I got down here at the bottom. And I bought it in twice. It kind of run up and then I bought back in it. So we're setting up for, I think, a breakout. And we're going to try to break resistance level. At And then the previous video that I did, I talked about this stock. When it was up here at the high. And let me pull up the five day. I got out of the trade right about in here on Friday. Or on Thursday. And then I waited for the pullback. And I called in the last video I did. These I haven't touched this chart. I said we could pull back to this 81.59 area. And that's exactly what we did. We pulled back to the 81.59. You can go back to the previous video that I did. And it was just a beautiful play. And she did pull back to that area. So I jumped into the trade. I did have a, a, a buy support at 82.20. And then went ahead and pulled back to that 81.59. I was pretty excited about that. So I'm up in the trade right now. And I think we're going to go ahead and try to break this, this next resistance level. And let me pull that up on the daily one minute. Right about in here. Right about 82.48. Then take it to 82.73. And then maybe get up in here if I can get past this. Definitely 82.48. I'm going to try to run it up to 82.73. I got a long on this trade, and I think I'll hold these because I'm a month out to about, oh, I'd say 85 to 87 bucks. If I pull up the 20-day, uh, my next resistance is right up here at 85, so we'll go a little bit farther out. We'll look at the yearly, and I'll magnify this up. And I've got 85.53 and then 86.87, and that's going to be a pretty hard resistance. And that'll be nice to break. Right now, I'm still bullish because that 50-day is above the 200. And we do have higher lows. So we're setting up into a new breakout. And I think that breakout's going to come within a week or two. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this into my challenge count. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be BABA. Now, I took BABA, called BABA out down at the very bottom. And I'm back in this trade. So right now, I've got a call in here at two calls. On average, I got in at 292. Oh, this is AMD. Let's go to BABA. That would probably help. 
So I've got April 23rd for next week. It's right now at 310. And my average is right at 309. So I just got one contract. And that's right here at 309. We'll see if we can get a breakout on this stock. If not, I only got one just in case it does pull back. I can cost average down or maybe get out, cut my losses as fast as I can. But we're going to go ahead and look at the trade. And this is my TM, my SMA chart again. And we'll put Baba in here. And we'll look at the 20 day. We had that nice, I got in this trade down here at the double bottom. I called it out in the room right around 222 area. I bought two, three contracts of it. Ended up running up all the way up here. I woke up the next morning and I was up almost a grand. In a, well, I took profit in a grand and then I held on and I took the other two at right at 1500 in my personal account. So we did have a high of 246. Now we do have some higher lows here. And I went ahead and jumped into the trade because it looked to me like we've been consolidating in this area. Then it dipped on down a little bit below. Right now, I think I'm in this trade at, right now I'm up a whole dollar on the trade as of closed Friday. So let me get back to uh, the chart. I think that can hold. I'm pretty sure I want to see this channel hold here. I don't want to see it go down too much farther. If it does... We've got a low, low support down here right around the 231.69. But I want to see it consolidate and try to bring back up. I'll probably get out of this trade Monday. If it does have a bounce, write it open. And that's going to be BABA. I think resistance level can be up here around this 50-day. Still bullish on the trade. So if I can get up here around 240, maybe right up in this area where I had that old support level, resistance level at 241 I'll go ahead and take my profit there and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be plug now I jumped in plug because I thought it was a good bottom play I'm in April 30th I've got four contracts my average is at 162 and we closed at 174 now this is what I've been doing I've been buying small and adding on so I started out at 181, 169, and then it dipped all the way down to 150, and that's what gave me that average of 162. So we'll go ahead and pull up the chart on plug. Wrong one, there it is. We'll type in plug. It looked to me like it's way oversold. I seen Thursday, we had a pretty good pullback on this thing, and we started to have some higher lows. So I want to see it break this 50. We just couldn't do it there for a couple of weeks. And I think it's about time that this thing tricks turn around. Now I'm going to call a low support on this trade. I'm thinking right in here is going to be your first one at 26.56. Then we've got another one right here right around the 25.92. And then I'm going to say strong buy. No lower than right here at 25.51. We could get a double bottom. And then I'll load up more. But I want to see it break out of the gate. And I'll probably hold this. What, what day did I say we were? We were in this for April 30th. So I got a couple weeks. And I think I can get the job done with this. Pete Jajarian mentioned this stock on Friday. And he said he liked it. But he's probably in a real long position. This just looks to me like a, a pretty good pocket pivot. Where it come down here. And every time it dips it has a nice little bounce. So let's see if we can have a continuation, and I'll run it up to the 200 on the 20-day. But I need to break resistance level, and that's going to be right in here, right at the 27.75, and then at 28.87, and then right there at $30. And then long, and there's going to be a hard resistance right here at 30.75. So that's a good $3 bounce, and if I can get up in that area, I might go ahead and take my profit. Or if it has a nice pop pre-market and then runs on up, read it open, I might take my profit there and maybe wait for the pullback and get back in the trade. So I'm liking them, all three of them, for a swing or I wouldn't have got into them over the weekend. And those swings, are, again, are AMD, BABA, and PLUG. I wish everybody a great weekend. This is my video update on my options challenge. 
and let's have a fun week. I love stocks. Always remember Miss Vegas, she posts great alerts in here on Twitter. We'd like to hit that follow button. You can follow them alerts, ring that bell. And then also on Stock Twits, we do have our links here. You can also follow us on there. And then if you go back to our YouTube channel, we've got previous videos in here that I've talked about stocks, and you could watch a few of them. You know, ways back, I did a, um, a session here. It's called Part 5 of how you can take five stocks and just play them all week long. So the watch list is very important to you. Always keep a good watch list going. Keep it fresh, simple, and clean. I love stocks. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you Monday.